I remember when me and Sarah went traveling, we had one of those traveling backpacks, you know, the one that makes you look like an actual turtle. I literally bought the bare minimum in terms of clothes and bought six books with me. And they were literally the heaviest thing in my bag. I can't lie. I used to really like having physical books, highlighting them by hand, but that truly is the old way. The first obvious benefit of a Kindle is the fact that in this one device, you can hold thousands and thousands of books. The second benefit is the fact that it's linked up to Amazon and you can buy a book pretty much instantly. Someone recommends a book and within seconds, you can start reading it. Remember how I said I used to like highlighting key points in books? With a Kindle, you can do that too. But the best part about it is when you highlight something, it actually puts all of your highlighted things into a folder that you can go back and take a look at. This streamlines the whole process of taking notes from a book and reviewing what you've learned. In this day and age of the internet, there are all of these get rich quick schemes and BS out there. We know that the only way to get rich is to acquire knowledge. And how do we do that? Reading books from people who have achieved what we want to achieve. Another amazing feature I love with the Kindle is the time left in chapter. You know, when you're reading a normal book, and you start to feel fatigued and you know all this in your mind is bloody hell mate how long's left in this chapter well that solves this problem and i have felt that it kind of incentivized me to keep reading if it tells me i've only got four minutes left in a chapter i'm gonna finish the chapter ever been reading a physical book and come across a word that you have no idea what it means i'm sure we all have on a kindle you can tap and hold a word and it will bring up the definition instantly another thing i absolutely love about the kindle is the ability to read without judgment of the outside world whether you're on a train or on your lunch break at work, you might not want people around you knowing what you're reading. And the last thing I love about the Kindle is the analytics and the data it gives you back. It's probably no surprise that I love a habit app and trying to keep myself accountable. The daily review feature inside of the Kindle shows you the streak you are on and you can look back at all of the books you've read and when you completed them. With a physical book, it's easy to put it back on the shelf and completely forget about it. Don't get me wrong, I still occasionally pick up the old hard copy book, but a Kindle is an amazing thing to have in your arsenal.